What is up guys, how are you doing today? Today's video is gonna be a little bit different, but in a good way. It has to do with my phone. A lot of you guys always ask me how I do my Instagram stuff. What cameras I use, what filters I use, how I edit my photos. So I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys want a video on it. Everyone said yes. So here's that video. You're welcome. I listen. What's that you say? I don't know. I can't hear anything. So I'm going to talk about different gear, different apps, all that stuff that makes it all complete. And also a game I'm very stoked about. I'm very excited to say that this video is sponsored by Rovio, the creators of Angry Birds. Angry Birds is awesome and guess what? There's an Angry Birds 2 app. Angry Birds is awesome so I'm super stoked and excited to be working with Rovio to tell you guys about the new app Angry Birds 2. This is so cool. It's currently the number one thing used on my phone. Okay so I'm currently on level 25 and this game's awesome. It is its one year anniversary which means free birthday cake. So I've been playing this thing and the graphics are like insane. Each level has all these different graphics and looks. It's super awesome. There's like a ton of colors. It's wicked colorful. The animations are like next level. When you like smack a bird into a thing, there's all these like ricochets and movements and it's it's intense. And it has been downloaded over a hundred million times. A hundred million. I can see why though. This is a super addicting game. Super witty, super like funny. You have a bunch of different birds. I don't know if you guys saw the movie. There's a bunch of different birds and each one has like different personalities and different things that can happen. And some are just hilarious. It is super addicting to me. I've had a lot of fun playing this thing and it's kind of like you have to use some smarts and strategy and all that stuff to do it. But when you do it, it's awesome. So click the link in my description to check it out. You can download it for free. The link will be right there. Download it. Angry Birds 2, baby. All right, so that is my main game on my phone right now. As far as Instagram and editing photos, we are going with Visco Cam. So basically after I take a photo, which I'll go over equipment here in a little bit, I open Visco Cam on my phone. Okay, this one's a cool photo. Let's import it. Okay, so once you import it, you go into this little thing you right here, and then here is where the secret lies within. So basically, I have a few different ones that I use um, to give it my Instagram vibe. I put them all at the beginning, so it's TKC3 or Q5. I think most of these are free. I might have bought the Q one. So I usually like go through, see which one like fits best. This one, it looks like Q5. A lot of people don't know this about ViscoCam, but you can like hold the photo and it shows you like original and then with the filter. So I usually have Q5. It kind of brings out like just like, I don't know what it brings out, but it makes it look cool. But that's not it. You can't just slap a filter and that's it. You have a lot more pizzazz to add to this thing. You go into the menu below, click that thingy. This might look a little different than yours because I've like customized it to what I use just at the very front of it all. So usually what I do is mess with temperature and that makes it either like bluer or yellow orangier, um, hot or cold. I usually kind of Maybe one. I just try to make the whites look like true white. So that looks pretty good. I mess with the exposure. So usually I kind of like want it a little bit darker just cause it like gives it like a cool vibe. Sometimes I put grain to make it look kind of like old school classic feeling. Most of the time I don't put grain though because I'm too scared to post it with grain. I get all these cameras and like good equipment so there's no grain just to put grain after and then so I feel bad but it looks cool. But I don't know. So no grain for this one. And then I put the contrast up usually one. With this one, it's a little too intense because it's already like naturally shadowy, but usually I put contrast up one. Sometimes I use saturation where I just put it up one. Sometimes it makes it a little too intense, so I'll keep it normal. So those are like the basic things. You could go back and forth to see like if you like it or not. And like it was a good photo before, but this kind of gives it just like a style. And so you just export it, save to camera roll, post that sucker and just enjoy all of those millions and millions of likes that uh, follow. Okay, I don't get millions of likes. Okay, so that's the app that I use to like color correct and put the filter and all that stuff, but a lot of it too is the camera that I use. I usually use two different cameras. A lot of you guys are photographers, starting photographers, experienced photographers, and a lot of you guys ask about what camera I use. Sometimes you see like a photo that I do and you're just like, what camera? Like, that's so crazy, blah, blah, blah. But most of the time, it's just on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 6 Plus and a lot of the photos I take is with this thing. I think for good photos, it just has to be like your eye, what you see and how you crop it. It doesn't necessarily mean like you need like this crazy huge gear to get something nice. Another camera that I use is one that I'm using right here. Let me show you. Okay, um, not the ring light thingy, but I think you can see. It's a Canon 6D. This one's like an intense camera. It takes really, really cool photos. I do a lot of photo shoots with this one. The Canon 6D, it's awesome. It's 
really expensive though. This one's a full frame camera, so it does a lot better in low light, in nighttime, and just in general, it takes a really, really good picture. So the Canon 6D, the iPhone, Visco Cam, that's what I do for my Instagram stuff. I hope that helps you, I hope that gives you some tips. Maybe you can hear some of this and put your own spin on it and do something that no one's ever done before. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other questions about any of the other stuff that I do or whatever, let me know in the comments below and I will write back. Or if there's a lot of people wondering the same thing, I'll make another video. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I post videos every day on this channel, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Oh.